tip of the spear, the front lines of the info war as we wage war on corruption and crash the lies and disinformation. Here is the Obama Deception DVD. I hadn't thought to show folks these. Live at PrisonPlanet.tv. But it is out, ladies and gentlemen. It is now available. We are back live. The good old Ace of Spades. Okay, folks, we're going to start taking your calls in the next segment at 1-800-259-9231. But have your question and comment ready because I'm going to make each caller keep it to a minute and myself to a minute answer. So we have time to get to a lot of people before a guest on the deadly nature of vaccines and all the new developments there. Uh, joins us coming up the last hour and a half of the show. Got a lot of news to cover as well. 1-800-259-9231. I was just talking to Jaron Nyhart, uh, who's uh, one of the uh, directors for the PrisonPlanet.tv show. When I'm live during the day, when Burmas is live for all three hours, 9 to midnight, uh, at InfoWars.com and the GCN Radio Network. And he said this is perfect for his family who are Obama supporters because they knew Bush was a tyrant because the film starts with showing all the horrible things Bush did, showing him making jokes about no WMDs here, no weapons there, and we cut to images of dead Iraqi children and uh, men and women. And then we explain that the very same groups that run Bush now run Obama. And then we go into all of his lies, and then we cover what his real agenda is and the, the globalist public master plan to bankrupt the planet and bring in a world government where everybody has a, an a ID card that's globally set but administered by their nation, uh, where all you're buying and selling is tracked by that in the name of a fair tax, which they're uh, going to uh, track all your purchases with in the name of stopping the income tax. They're masters at that. Make you revolt against one of their earlier programs and then drive you right into the new program of total control. This is the film to shatter the left-right paradigm. This is the film that's got the momentum. This is the film that can have an even bigger effect you know, than even Loose Change did, exposing 9-11 as an inside job and all of my films and the other great films people made exposing it. The Obama deception, and I'm telling you, no rest for us here. I'm going to put it out at prisonplanet.tv. We're going to make it in the next three weeks, but by the uh, end of next month, or within about 25 days from now, we're going to launch, I think I'm going to call it the Obama Deception Update. The Obama Deception Update. And it's probably going to be about an hour and a half long, uh, where we go into more detail about Zbigniew Brzezinski and about the Israeli connection and the Israeli lobbyist and uh, who Rahm Emanuel is and all of that and the encircling of Russia and the Bali uh, bombings and mass shootings and more of Obama's agenda. And I'm also going to sit down and do some shoots here next week with all the latest stuff that Obama's doing. And also, we didn't get a lot into how everybody's basically a mafia don or corrupt or how many people he couldn't appoint because they were getting payoffs or weren't paying their taxes. We're going to spend some time on that as well and how one of Obama's people just got raided by the FBI, one of the people in his administration. I mean, it is getting crazy. And so we're going to put that out at prisonplanet.com. TV, I mean, we've got hours and hours of tarpley, riveting, informative stuff, you know, hours of Jesse Ventura, hours and hours of George Humphrey, uh, more of KRS One, more of Professor Greff, uh, more of, uh, Gerald Salente, and then more of myself, but I'm gonna shoot some new stuff, because some of this stuff was shot a month and a half ago. Oh, it's old already. I mean, that's how quick this film, people are seeing this film, and it's like they say they're watching the news. A lot of people are also trying to nitpick it on YouTube and on the pages on InfoWars and Prison Planet saying, oh, Alex says 5,000 troops have died in the war. It's only 4,200 and something. Number one, uh, that 4,000 number is in Iraq. They're not even counting the thousands of dead contractors. Uh, and they don't count it. If, if you die once you get out to Rammstein in Germany or once you get to England or once you get back to the U.S., they don't count that as a combat casualty. And I know about a year ago it was in the newspapers that really more than 15,000 troops have died from injuries from the war. So I had to make a decision making the film. I said, well, I know it's way more than 5,000. And I know that more are dying every day. And I know the official number 
is the latest numbers are almost 5,000. I said, I'll just say more than 5,000 because I'm lying to say less than 5,000. And I know it's more like if it was a year ago, 15,000. It's a lot higher than that now. So, see, this is how people just try to nitpick and try to invent things that aren't in this film. Or they show a clip of the banker bailout. You know, we show a clip and people say, oh, well, that was Bush's bailout. Yeah, but Obama's people helped engineer it and helped Han show it. That's the whole point. We're showing they were all in it together. So there's lots of nitpicking watching the intro of the film instead of watching the film itself that proves everything that's in the intro. The intro is just a shadow of what comes in the film. So if you're going to criticize it, watch the whole thing.